Regal Air pilot Nick Cunningham is 40 miles northwest of Anchorage, flying supplies to a remote off-gridder. 17 miles, 12 minutes. But the frozen lake Nick hopes to land on is surrounded by fog. It's not something that you fool around with because the result can be catastrophic. We're at 1,000 feet right now. We'll end up descending just a little bit more. We can see between the layers there. It just looks like there's fog on the north end of the lake, fog on the south end of the lake, but the lake itself is wide open. So we're going to make it into Highline, back it up, and get the hell out of here. Nick is the first person this winter to fly out to the frozen Highline Lake. First rule of bush flying is you always fly over your field or where you're going to land. Check your landing spot for debris, floating tree trunks. In this case, it'd be blocks of ice. For an experienced bush pilot, there's only one way to find out if an improvised runway is safe. We're going to drag a ski here. We're going to fake land. We're going to put our skis down in the snow, and then we'll take off again. Nick's performing what's known as a bolter, the same maneuver used by fighter pilots on aircraft carriers. Just a small piece of concealed debris on the surface can cause huge damage to an aircraft. You know, there's always a risk uh, landing out in remote Alaska on a frozen lake on skis. With skis attached, Nick's de Havilland Beaver can't break. He needs at least 800 feet of clear ice to land safely. Uh, there's no facilities, there's no infrastructure, so if something goes wrong, you're all you got. That all look good? I liked it. The lake's surface is clear. Final approach, Highline Lake. Nick prepares to land, this time for real. Touchdown, Highline Lake. There's John. Hey there, John. Just another day at Regal Air. Just the perfect layer of snow. Even cushion my landing enough to make me look like I know what I was doing. Nick's customer, John, settled at Highline when he retired eight years ago. He lives out here alone all year round. It was just kind of in and out, real close to Highline Lake here. You know, looking back in the distance, it's just less than a half a mile where we wouldn't have been able to get in here. Of course, snap fog can always come back as quickly as it moved out. And so still a chance that we won't be able to get back to Anchorage. There's not much out here. We got a couple cabins out on Highline Lake here, but to get to the next river system or civilization is probably a 30 mile walk. We're definitely out in the middle of the wilderness and we're gonna load up the plane and pull the engine cover and head back to Anchorage. Here we go. No fog, here we come. No sleeping on the river for us. <laughs> 